What began as a normal day, May 30th, will forever live in Spencer Tejedas' mind. The dispatch came in that there was a potential for a victim, and that just kind of sets everybody in a different mindset going into it. A house was full of smoke and fire. Gresham Fire responding. Tejedas heard a woman crying that her child might be inside. I just remember in my brain, it just kind of kicked into another gear and um, I knew we were going to go into rescue mode. Smoke inside the house was neck high, fire above him. They searched the hallways and bedrooms and saw fire in a bathroom. Time was critical. It was either wait for water or risk his own safety for the life of another. I felt like the, the risk we were about to take and the reward of potentially saving somebody outweighed us waiting around for a hose line. The fire had gotten hotter and fueled by oxygen. Tejedas was caught in a flashover of flames. And all of a sudden, uh, like this unsettling feeling in my stomach and just the heat uh, overall else just overcame me. And on the back of my neck, I just, I just knew it was bad. He had been severely burned and would spend the next three months in the ICU. In early September, he walked out to a chorus of cheers on his way to spend the next couple of weeks at a rehab center. And late last month, he went home. Doing a lot better since I, I got home. Uh, this is day six. He's adjusting to life with limitations, but not letting them slow him down. All four fingers on my left hand uh, had to be amputated, as well as some of my thumb. And then uh, pinky over here, and then my pointer finger. So, I don't know, one, two and a half, three, you know, <laughs> four and a half fingers left, so. What Spencer does have is an appreciation for the community he serves and a family surrounding him. What I did, I wouldn't say it was heroic or anything like that. It was, it's our job and it's what I signed up to do. Turns out there wasn't anybody in inside that house to hate us along with two other firefighters were injured. The other two though were treated and released. Tejeda says he wants to continue working for the Gresham mm -hmm. fire in any capacity that he can.